Uh, Marilyn May, how are you, darling? I'm Just fine. Just saw you Skippy. with Minnie Hines and uh, who else was And there? Karen Morrow. Karen it was Karen a great Morrow. show at the Thank you. Ford Amphitheater. Amphitheater. Yes, we did Reprise. It was a, a fundraiser for an organization called Reprise right. that Peter Matz originated. Uh -huh. And Peter Matz was a wonderful arranger of mine, so it was a joy to be there. Oh, Marilyn May, when you come on that stage, you're still... I, I remember you in Kansas City, girl. I don't want to go back. <laughs> that goes Those back a long way. days. But you grew up where, actually? I grew up in Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. So it's all Midwest. Midwest. Uh, uh -huh. Des Moines, Iowa. I was born in Wichita, Kansas. Uh -huh. Grew up in Des Moines, Iowa. Moved and married a man in uh, Kansas, several men in, Ca in Kansas City. But when you City. were in, <laughs> several, I like that. <laughs> I did. When you were in Des Moines, Iowa. You were uh, working uh, singing as a teenager. I was. And you had a radio show? I did. Called? I did. You did. Isn't that funny? I can't imagine some 15-year-old girl with her own radio show. Oh, but yeah. There are a lot of them. There, there are now, aren't there? She, Sam yeah. Powell had yeah. one before yeah. she from in Portland, Oregon. Isn't that great? Before she came to Hollywood. Yeah. Well, it was great education. You it know. certainly was. And yeah. I want to tell you something. Something happened. What do you do? Uh, you moved right over to Kansas City. Yeah, and joined this Kansas club, a, a man. I, I was booked. <laughs> well, first I was booked at a club uh, in the President Hotel, and there was a dancer uh, that opened for me, and I married him. And then later on, I found a great pianist, and so I married him, and we worked a place called the Colony. Yeah. <laughs> ah. And I worked at a club called the Jewel Box Review. Ladies and gentlemen, you would not believe this place. Oh, you were wonderful. It was a wonderful. very, very campy club. I mean, was I was wonderful. the MC. I wasn't a drag. I was the MC. Of it. <laughs> That's what I used to do. And I loved it there. I really and I it. And I knew you there. Yeah, you did. Now, that was, oh, maybe, what, 10 or 12 years ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn May, you and I are about the same, same age. But anyway, I had a great time. So you and isn't it happy. nice? We're still moving and working, and it's wonderful and yeah, energetic. Steve Allen had a lot to do so, with you. Now. Yeah, so he good. He came to in me. that room, saw Marilyn May. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What happened? He he booked me on his national. He had a prime time show in those days. It wasn't the Tonight Show. He did a Wednesday night prime time show, and asked me to do the show. And um, I went out, and then and then he wound up with a show across from Farmer's Market at that studio, a late night show, and I right. did that many times. And the last show before it was to go off the air, an executive from RCA saw me and called and said, I want to record you. Record you. Yeah. yeah. So You did you know, a lot of records. We uh, Wonderful. I, RCA was good to me. Yeah, but Cabaret. It was Liza my didn't do it. She did it. <laughs> it was my was first hit song. record. Yes, it uh, was. That was your song on the record. It was fun. It was the first hit record before the Broadway show opened, uh -huh. before the movie, you know. Uh -huh. So we had the, the first hit on it. Uh, and then followed by um, Step to the Rear and Let a Winter Lead the Way mm -hmm. from How Now Dow Jones. Also followed by Sherry that uh, James Lipton wrote. Right. Yeah. So Tell that me, was fun. Would you consider yourself, what kind of a singer? Jazz? I know you're an entertainer, but is it a jazz singer? Well, what, what are the other categories? Of, uh, I don't know. There's, uh, you're a mixer, whatever they are. Whatever. It's a mix. A great <laughs> singer. Thank you. you Thank but you. you. But your favorite is jazz. Is well, favorite? I think everything that I do is jazz spiced. You know, it's. Um, I grew up in the Middle West, and I grew up in Kansas City, and Kansas City is, is a big mecca of jazz. Great singers from Kansas City. Right. So I, I think most of, you know, everything that I do, I don't stick real close to the melody, I see. I see. but I'm not a far-out jazz singer No, no, either, no, you know? like Anita O'Day and all that. Well, I, I loved I Anita. And, oh, and, and, I don't and mean that. I meant No, Anita. right, right, exactly. Yeah. And, and I love... Ella and, and all those singers. I also love communicating with the audience and, and Boy, singing to did. them, not for them. So. Did you ever at yeah. that Ford Theater? Thank you. Wow, that's a big stage. It you was. You were right there. Oh, I loved it. Yeah, thank you. And I was right in the middle of the room. I was sitting <laughs> next to someone, and I just, I've never seen you perform. That's the first time I've seen you perform in years. I know it is. Yeah. In years. I Marilyn. know. What do you do with yourself? You just, just got in from New York, I understand. I'm just singing as fast as I can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sing as fast as you can. <laughs> Uh, I'm working all the time now, Skippy. It's funny. Um, we, we opened in a new room in New York 
last October, uh -huh. and we were there. Uh, well, first of all, we did a, a show at Lincoln Center in Rose Theater for one night, and then we went over to this wonderful theater called the Metropolitan Room, which is on Chelsea. Uh, I mean, it's in Chelsea on 22nd Street. They just opened exactly a year ago. And I did one night in October, and then we came back for two weeks in March. And the reviews were wonderful. And so now we're going back in September, mm -hmm. and we go back again in November. So right. it's, uh, yeah, we're busy and we're working.